Uh, good morning. You know, I said to myself this morning, I said, self. Well, I had a night dream, a nightmare last night. Oh, and I finally realized. Okay, so this is Brian. I'm Brian Young, and you're shipping with Brian. And I said, you know what? Uh, this morning, I said, you know what? Let's just do another video because people are excited about them. And, and I don't know, maybe you're at home and you're just on your computer and you just want to have some background noise. And so you just thought, well, I'll have listen to Brian Young bloviate about things that he doesn't know. I'm getting all these people saying that I have no idea what I'm talking about with slot cars, that, that I'm, uh, that, that I have no, um, uh, expertise in slot cars hey I'll, I'll guess what i'm having i'm having another one of my jimmy dean's uh, sausage egg i took the i don't like the cheese i took the egg uh, uh cheese off so i'm gonna eat this i'm sorry mm. oh let's do it anyway I'm getting a lot of people call me or, or sending me messages on my videos, and I'm trying to respond to as many as I can. Um, that I I don't know what I'm talking about. They're not T jets. Tommy doesn't make T jets. They're not 164 scale or 187. And we're getting, I, 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 we're getting more orders at ProTinkerToys.com. It's crazy. It's crazy. My website, our website, Ryan's and I, boom. And then these cards that I got yesterday, or that I got ordered, okay. Let me pull this up here. I'll show you these cars. I'm going to switch this camera around. I'm going to finish eating and kind of scroll through these, through all these um, cars that we're getting. I'm sold out of one of them already. I mean, it's crazy. And so now I have to buy more, which I guess is good. But my son says, well, you can buy more stuff. You can buy, you buy more. You know, you know, budget your money, dad. You, you, you're always going out to dinner. Blah, blah. And he and he goes to swigs every night. I, I, I give up. Okay, so here are all the cars. Cool. Uh, that's the Camaro. That's the 2010 Camaro. Green Camaro. That's the white, the renegade, Bel Air. Sold out of that. I'm sold out of that. This one's cool. Pink Charger. That's a nice one. Yellow one. Camaro, 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 look at that, isn't that sweet, Javelin, you know, American Motors did make some great cars, but their Pacer was a joke, there's a nice one.
There's another nice one. Firebird. They should have never done away with that car. It's amazing how American car companies can just do stupid things. So that's the whole collection. These are the new Thunder Jets that are coming out. Or not Thunder, that uh, Ultra G or uh, Extraction by Auto World. I'll have those. Uh, Matt, they were shipped. My first, my first lot was. Okay, you will not believe what just happened. Um, <laughs> I tell you, I I don't understand it, but uh, my my thingamajiggy broke. Um, I don't even know if I'm live or not. Can somebody text me to see if I'm live? He's back. Okay, so am I live? It's 39. Okay. Yeah, all right. So what happened was uh, my phone fell on the ground. You, you'll never believe this. The, it is so funny. Okay, so let me just tell you another. You, you love my story, so I'm going to tell you a story. So when I had Young's newsstand, I, I constantly was thinking of ideas to make money. Okay, Um and so I created um, a way to make money. I just, you know, it was, it, it you know, I, I had Young's newsstand. I needed extra cash here and there, a hundred here, a hundred there. That's, you know, it was a lot of money. So I created this idea uh, and I don't remember where I first started it. Anyways, my kids went to Bowling Green Christian Academy and they, and they were having problems with the fair. And I told you that I became Professor Tinker and, and well, anyways, they would have this fair every year at the, to raise money. And so what I did is I, I went, I started collecting. There was a guy next to me that uh, sold washers and dryers. Um, and he always had boxes. And so I took these boxes and I connected them and cut holes in them and made mazes. And so what I did is I put in the Sentinel, you know, I didn't hear you. Okay, wait a minute. I didn't hear. I didn't hear what you said about me and Ryan talking about the Pro Tinker stickers. Adam Hurt. Uh, I don't know about the stickers. What's the stickers? Hmm. Well, anyways, let me get back to this. So I started creating these ma mazes, and I put in a sentinel for you know kids with birthday parties. If you want me to come in, I would. And so I would set up these mazes in people's houses. I can't believe I did this. I actually went into people's houses and I set like either a six or 10 box maze. And for an hour, these kids would just tear through it and everything. And then I'd walk out with a hundred dollar bill. Uh, you guys should get your pro tech here stickers. Maybe let's see. Uh, maybe. Ha ha. Forget the stickers. Tony. What the heck? Uh, you guys should get pro tech uh, her stickers and maybe put them on each order. I get by, uh, yeah, Pro Tinker. That's a good idea. Okay. I'm trying to tell you guys a story and, and everybody's commenting about stickers. So anyways, I, the reason everything got disconnected was I had called Whirlpool Corporation, which in Finley, Ohio, and this is where I get boxes from. And normally, no, normally I get like a hundred of these. They usually have like seconds or boxes that they can't use anymore because maybe they've discontinued that washer or dryer. Anyways, down here at Whirlpool and Finley, they only make dishwashers. And, and I called them yesterday because I wanted to get more boxes because I'm going to do a huge maze at Pro Tinker for Halloween. Um, and um, I needed 100 boxes because I'm going to do a 100-box maze. Well, it might not be a hundred. It might be a forty box maze because a forty box maze is huge. Plus, I have to go through and cut it out, which is time consuming. So, anyways, they had called me and I didn't want to miss the call, so I went ahead and took it. I'm sorry I disconnected. I got most of the people back. Everybody's watching, so uh, everybody is happy. Um, I want to show you some other new stuff that I got. Now, this is some more of this. Um, uh, uh, these are some more toys now, and I'm not talking slot cars right now, but you have to understand that protinkertoys.com is protinkertoys.com. It's not just slot cars, but it's for, for toys for kids and, and, and boys and girls. And that's why we've changed our tagline 
uh, uh, protinkertoys.com, toys for boys and gifts for girls. Because um, g- girls love gifts. Girls love little, uh, how do I want to say it? How, how do you say that? Girls love little trinket things. They love little things that they can play with. And I'm telling you, I got them. I got them, baby. I got these. Check out these new pens. I got some more pens. These are little unicorn pens. Okay. Check these little unicorn pens out. Now, do you don't think that little girls going to want to leave these little unicorn pens? And they come in like, they come in like five different, four different colors. Okay. Then you have these little, uh, uh, little uh, erasers. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be putting these on. I, I have to do them individually, though. That's the problem. These are little erasers. And then these are little erasers. These are little dinosaur erasers. Look at these little dinosaurs and their eggs. You're not telling me that's cute? And check out this stuff. These are really cute. These are little like spongy, uh, spongy cats. And then we've got, uh, they're all erasers. Most of it is erasers. Let me set this camera up so it doesn't fall over. I'm just showing you different things that we're going to be carrying at Pro Tinker. And some of this is going to go online also. This is like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. So this is like four little gerbils. Four little gerbils. Okay. This is just girly stuff. I mean, some boys will like it. Like these little. Oh gosh. Stop it. Look at these little pandas. Llamas. Look at these llamas. No, those look good. I know girls love slot cars. Okay, I I get it. I get it. I get it. Yes, I understand. I understand. I understand. But I just want to have a broad view. Yes, I get it. I get it. Totally get it. Anyway, these are some new stuff that I got. Um, and, uh, uh, I, you know what I was going to do this morning? I was going to use my Navaj. How many How many know what a Navaj is? Hold on a second. I want to go over here and blow my nose. How many know, know what a Navaj is? If you don't have, you have sinus problems, and all of a sudden it went real cold, and now the trees are starting to uh, pollinate, I think. I think this phone is going to fall out again, because I broke the, I snapped this thing off right here. This thing broke here, and so it won't go on. But this one right here, this one's a nice one, but it's not as tall. So I'm going to stick this guy right here, and I'll just... I can extend the legs a little bit, but I can't get the real height. I can go like that, I suppose. Okay. Uh, I can get a new, I think I have another one of these. That's what I need is this thing here. I think I have another one of these. This is broke. So I'll just just throw that away. I'm going to see if I have another mount. Now, Ron, Ron Gardner's watching today. He'll probably have all the, hey, Brian, you need to go here, blah, 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 you need to buy it here. Hey, has anybody seen uh, Christoph? He must be busy. Well, actually, I think Christoph only likes to come, or only likes to watch when my brother's here. <laughs> he loves, Christoph loves my brother for some reason. Uh, I don't know where. I had that thing here. Wonder where that is. Hmm. Well, oh, I let my friend borrow all those components. This one, 
That one doesn't work. This one does. Might be able to do this one here. This one's got here, and I probably could go like this. Mount that like that. What do you think? You think that, that thing gets top heavy? <laughs> you don't think that's going to wobble over? I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't think this is a good idea. Well, maybe. Oh, I know what I can do. I can drop it down one, at least have that. There we go. Oh, yeah, that works fine right there. There we go. Okay, so this is shipping with Brian. Now, we don't have a lot of orders. I got a lot of orders, but all these cars that I showed you, the the auto, all these auto world cars, right here, all the auto world cars, man, those are selling like crazy. And I have a feeling I got to I gotta reorder. <laughs> I probably should order five more cases. You think I should order five more cases? I mean, I've literally sold two cases already. Because you know what's happening is more and more perfect. Shout, uh, shout that hat. Christopher is trying to get his wallet back from Al Sharpton. <laughs> Oh, uh, um, what am I saying? Uh, ha ha! <laughs> you know what's what's great about what's happening with ProTinkerToys.com, and especially on the video, more and more people are finding out about me, and they're finding out that I that I have everything, and so they just come in and they buy. Now, um, and we keep on expanding and getting more and more stuff, which is really exciting. I'll tell you, it really is exciting. So let me um. Let me go look for a couple cars. I'll bring you guys with me. Let me get my pull list here so that um, when I'm pulling, um, you can uh, be watching me. Like, that's really exciting, right? And all, you're, watching, you're, watching, you're watching me pull cars. All right, so I've got two. Uh, uh, I need a 182, 162 right here. F1 Ninko car, and then a, a 280, a 280, a 280, right here, 280. So this is a Ninko F1 car, and then a Ninko F1 car. So two Ninkos. All right, and then we've got a fly car. Now, this one, oh, this one's going to take me forever to find. I got to get these fly cars organized, and I'm going to do that when we get down to the new location. Okay, and that is eight eight zero two eight. Now I have a, I have a list here, you know, and so eight eight zero two eight. Over, overstock. All right, now they. Overstock. That means they're supposed to be up here. Okay, so let me turn this thing here like this. Actually, I don't need to do that. I have a remote here. There we go. Now I've got, this will all be set differently when we have the new location. So let me get on my stepladder. So these are supposed to be right here. I'm supposed to have overstock, but I don't think I do. Oh my gosh, I almost knocked that over. All these cars here, holy cow. Right there is one. Oh, by gosh, by golly. It's Christmas time, oh jolly. Okay, so I have that.
you know, I'll be so glad when we get down to the uh, new location. It's going to be a lot organized, a lot more organized. I want to show you something here. I'm going to do a little bit of tech support here. I'm going to bring this down here. So this is uh, how you fix how you fix your slot cars. Um, ooh, wow, that's not on. I, that's stupid. Let me go get a screwdriver, guys. And then I'm going to show you something here. Where is that? Okay. Uh, the hand came off of this guy. See his hand? See his arm? Well, to, I can't get that in there, so I have to take this car apart. So what I'm going to do is... Let's do some, let's have some fun. Let me get the screwdriver here. I need a screwdriver. I'm always missing my screwdrivers. My best one is always, should always be over here, but it's never here when I need it. My other one is over here where it should be. Alrighty. There we go. So let's see here. Let's take these screws out of here. Now this is a Porsche, a fly Porsche 911. No, I don't think, yeah, 911. It's got four screws, of course. We love screws. I love screws. I love taking screws out of cars. It just my, makes my day. Makes my day. This is what you should do with a car. Whenever you buy a car, a slot car, I don't care what slot car it is. Uh, uh, HO, uh, Auto World, Race Master. I don't care who it is. Okay. So that's a rear mount mounted. Look at that. Put a little rear. Boy, they see I got that tire. Man, they got that motor really right in the back of that Isn't that cool you always want to you see how the braids are down like that you always want to put them to about here I like to kind of go like this that's how I like to do it So the body, okay, so how do you put that back on there? Well, it's easy. You, you got to pop it off the chassis. That means you have to undo where the where it's soldered, the plastic is soldered to the chassis. See, what, how they do this in China is they, they just take hot glue guns and they just touch it. And that's what we're going to do when we put it back together. See, we're just popping that off like this. You're never going to notice this when it's back together that you took it off. But there's no way that I can put this guy's hand back on. Okay, unless I took that apart. Got to stick him in there like that. Uh, now his arm came off. Well, I'm going to put it. That's kind of good because now I can stick his hand back in there. There. See his hand? Where is the lens? Oh, right here. See, that should focus. Why isn't that focusing? Oh, there you go. See his hand? So now we got to put his arm back on. See his arm came out of the socket? Stick his arm back on there. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Let's get some tweezers. Let's get a pair of needle nose. 
stick that baby back in there. Well, Brian, if you just can get a hold of things here. These are made, you got 10,000 Chinese putting them together at a time. There you go. All right, so that guy is back in there. So then what you do is when you snap it back together, make sure it's square. You take a hot glue or a, a, like a solder iron and you're just touching, you're just touching right, right where the, the joint was. And that will solder right back like the bumper here. See this bumper came undone right here, but see it, it was soldered right there. So we're going to touch that real quick with a little solder. And now his hand is in there. The hand is all back. And we're going to screw the car back. Now I can sell this. I couldn't sell it before because the guy's hand is And some people don't want to do this kind of stuff that I'm doing, which they should. They should always take your car apart. You should always take your car apart. Because you'll under, you'll uh, have a better appreciation of how your car runs and how to keep it up and running and all that. Just maintenance, basically, is what you should do. All right, so now we need the retaining clip, which is here. And that is right here. All right, so we're going to put that back on here like this, see, like that. And then they have this here, like that. And then that's going to screw into that, like that. See? Put the header card on that. Put the top on. Go like this. I've had that soldering iron on for at least a week. That is just, that is wrong. All right, so I'm going to put that car back. Put that right there. Okay, there we go. All right, so I have those two cars. Now let's see, what else do I need? Turn that around. All right, so we got those two cars. I uh, got that. Those are ready to ship. I'll pack these up here in a minute. The table is all cleaned off because I don't have any orders right now. I made a three-dimensional model yesterday because I, I went to the city council, Wayne City Council, kind of let them know what I'm doing. You know, just to let them know that I bought the building and um, so I made a three-dimensional model of the uh, Pro Tinker Toys. I'm going to show it to you later. All right. Now, what else do I need? I need an eight. Uh, I need a, a zero, seven, zero, three, three. U-turn Corvette. U-turn Corvette. A U-turn Corvette. Let's see here. Right here. I'm going to show you a car here. I'm going to I'm going to do a little tech video real quick here. I'm going to take one of these out of the package because I think it's important for people to understand the evolution of Tomy and AFX. This is an AFX Tomy Turbo. This came out in uh, 1999. Okay, so this was uh, this was after the uh, the Tomy Aurora days. Now, what do you mean Tomy Aurora days? Well. So, Aurora, you know, they went into bankruptcy like 80s. And then that's when Tommy took over. Um, Tommy took over Aurora, or they took over the brand name of, you could say, AFX. Tommy did. 
but really anything that was made at Aurora, you know, the Super G, Super G Plus, all that technology kind of went away. And they went out with they came out with the their whole new chassis. And I want to show you that right now. So I'm going to open this up because I, I've got a couple of these, but I, I I want to show you the kind of this is where I think race masters should should go back to. I, I still think they should do their Mega G plus, but I think do you have a deal with the old man like uh, what? James Curtis, do you have to deal with the old man like me? Got pinned by a forklift. <laughs> I ordered some tires and slot cars, right? Yes. You didn't get them yet? I ordered your, yeah, I shipped your tires. All right, so this, and I don't have a lot of these. I think I only have like 10. Okay. So this is a, an AFX turbo. Okay. The motor will pop out. So you can, you know, you, you can do things with that. This is why people like these chassis. Now they like that the race masters mega G plus for just speed and race and everything. And they can do some, you can do some tweaking with them, but because the motor is self-contained, it's hard to do your own tweaking. And that's why guys like these chassis because they can modify them in their own way. And I still think that race masters should come out with this chassis just so people can, can modify it. Okay. Because this is a pretty, uh, this is a pretty cool chassis. I like this chassis. Let's put this on the track for a second here. Now I haven't got, I haven't touched this car up at all. It came right out of the package. Some oil in the of course my track hasn't been cleaned out. No, I can't go all the way around. I taped that over there. Darn it. Ah yeah, see that car is really nice. I think I got a little bit too much oil on it. But that's a Tomy Turbo 1999. This is when Race Master took over them. Okay. That's a, that's a uh, Turbo. All right. So, and this is a Tyco. This is a Tyco. Uh, A Tyco Duper Loop, Super Duper Looper Duper. And this is a 440X2. 440X2. People like the 440X2. This is a narrow body. This You could put this on F1 car. But see how they have all the components to the car, your blades. Now your motor can pop out. Pickups, you guide pin, front tire, rear axle, semi rear tires, high performance rear tires. These cars will not work on total control racing sets. Well, of course, these cars will work on all cliffhanger race sets. Super duper looper nooper. So a guy ordered one of those. And eight, 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 seven, six, thirty, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, thirty. F1 guide blades. So somebody ordered some F1 guide blades. Um, let's see here. All right. So that's everything from YouTube or from eBay. I've already got all the guns. Man, we sold a lot of guns. Oh, man. Where are all my guns? Did I bring that stuff down? All, all good things come to those who wait. Yes. No, I forgot to bring those down. Um,
Yeah, they're all right here. This is my best-selling gun of all time. If a, a, a pistol. Just pistol. Pistols versus rifles. Texas Rangers double pack. You get two guns, solid die cast, beautiful. Kid will play with this forever. This is for a younger kid, Billy the Kid. Oh, shoot. Caps. I'm the only one that has caps. And then the Outlaw. This is a beautiful gun. The Outlaw. Boy. Okay, so all this stuff ready to ship. I got to pack this stuff up out of here. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood with Brian. With Brian. It's a wonderful day with Brian. It's a wonderful day with Brian. It's Brian shipping. It's Brian shipping. It's a wonderful day with Brian shipping. <laughs> It's a wonderful day with Brian. Okay, now let's double check. Let's double check to make sure I don't need any more items. Okay. You know, I think people like this new video camera. Um, you know, you're limited. If you're on a computer, you're limited. And this has a lot of mobility to it. A lot of nobility. You know, there's a lot of nobility with it, and uh, uh, okay. Well, it looks like I sold um, a Hummer. I sold a Javelin, another Javelin. I just ordered. Hold on a second. Let me see, Tony. Uh, all right, so Tony just ordered something. Let's see here, Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, it's up to be the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. To be, to be, to be, to be. If there ever was to be, to be. Okay, so Antonio bought three items. He bought, uh, he bought another Ford Coupe and he bought two of the 8020s. Or 2080s. See, that's my dyslexia. I just did 8020s, didn't I? See, and I just switched that. That's because I, ha I have dyslexia. Now, when we get to the new store, I'm going to be buying, buying more of these tires from uh, uh, Gel Claw. Because these are really nice tires by Gel Claws. These little tires right here. I want whatever you're smoking. I don't, well, I smoke cigars. That's my only vice. I don't like alcohol. I never have uh, wine. I can maybe have a sip. But I just never been a alcohol type guy. Okay. But these are the tires that um, Antonio ordered. Uh, let me see. Did he order two of these? I think he ordered just one pack. I, you know, I'm going to check because I don't want to get messed up with his order. No, he ordered two of the 80s or 2080s. These are nice tires. Do you like these, Tony? Do you know why these are really nice tires? Because they're they grip the track. Okay, so let's see here. Let me get a ten. Then he ordered a Ford Coupe. Ford Coupe. A Ford Coupe. A Ford Coupe. A Ford Coupe. A Ford Coupe. <laughs> What am I smoking? Well, you know, it all goes back to my days when I was in sixth grade. I used to sit at my desk and I used to have these battles. I'd have tanks and army men and everything. And I'd be going, <laughs> I'd have these little battles. One day the teacher looked up at me and he goes, are you having fun, Brian? 
I said, oh, yeah, baby, I am. I said, do you want to be a part of my little world? Okay, so one Ford Coupe and two tires, Tony. These are the 8020s. 8020s. We'll put these all in nice little bags. SCX Cuda. This right here. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. Hey, going once, going once. Starting at forty dollars. Forty dollars. Forty dollars once. Forty dollars twice. Forty. Forty dollars once. Forty bucks. How about that one? Now this this Cuda is a prototype. What is a prototype? Well, it doesn't have any guts to it. I'll show you here. Doesn't have any. Okay, try the first production. First production. You know what? Maybe I should have uh, Auto World do a CUDA like that for me. That is a prototype. Yippee! Okay, so we have. Uh, see, I got distracted from Tony, but I'm not distracted from Tony because I have his item right here. That is Tony's. Yeah. Yeah, they were great tires. Okay, so we're gonna take um, we're gonna take Tony and uh, we are going to wrap his in a nice little box. We're gonna put some paper around it to protect it. I kind of like just touch it like this. I barely touch it so it, it kind of gives an absorption. So when you stick it in the box, it doesn't move around a lot. Then I'm going to take my tape, and there's a certain way you hold it. You should hold it like this, three fingers out. And then you draw it across, and you go down. See that? And then you have it all taped. And then I weigh it. Now, this thing probably weighs five ounces. Now, it probably weighs two ounces. Well, it doesn't. It can't be 12 ounces. What? Four ounces. Four ounces, Tony. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let's see. Lots of laugh. Tape on the sheriff. Okay. Hey, nobody uh, Nobody told me. I asked people yesterday to remind me, send me an email to buy tape. And guess what I didn't buy yesterday was tape. I try to have people help me out and nobody wants to help me. I give up. All right, so that's a seven by five by five box. That is four ounces, first class. Check your email, dude. All right, you did that, Tony? No, you didn't. Paul, Price, Parker, Ten. Oh, <laughs> yeah, somebody did. David Garman said, <laughs> I missed that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm going to do that right now. Four ounces. Let's see. $2.76. That'll go that'll go first class, Tony. You should probably get that in about four or five days. Now you might get it Saturday. You might get it Saturday, maybe. Illinois, oh yeah, you should get it by Saturday. When the winner announces for the free car. Uh Ryan should be doing that in a couple days. Yeah, that's really helped a lot. Uh he's really coming up with some neat neat ideas. Ryan has. Um you know, we're doing everything that we can to get more people excited about 
SCX. Aha, a couple weeks, you mean. <laughs> all right, let me order my tape. Now, this is very easy. I buy it all on YouTube or on eBay because, number one, they've got great, uh, they got good, I've, I've been buying stuff from all, Uline and everything. Uline, don't ever, don't ever buy stuff from Uline. They have no freight policy. They have um, uh, they have a freight uh, they have no freight policy, and all they do is they jack the prices up. Um, well, I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't say that. I that's that's a wrong attitude to have to be telling somebody not to buy something from somebody. So, I mean, I have a Uline account and I do buy a lot from Uline. So I don't want to say you shouldn't buy from Uline, but on tape and everything, you want to check, you want to look around for tape. All right. Three inch tape. All right. So buy again. Let's see. Select uh, two mil, 24 rolls, one case. I'm probably going to need it, right? Amazon tape. Why do you talk? No, Amazon is not always the cheapest there. Okay. All right, Ron, just for you, I'm just going to go comparison. I'm going to, Ron, just for you, three-inch tape, three-inch tape. I'm going to just, uh, I'm just going to co comparison, Ron, for you. All right. All right, so. Uh, three inch. Okay. Clear. Okay. Tape three inch, uh, pack of six rolls, $16. No, that's not a good deal. All right. Here, Vertigo industrial heavy dude, two point mil, 36 pack, $57. All right. So I'm my, uh, all right. So that's that. Now let's look at what my, um, tape is. Where's my tape? All right, so Mike had 24 rolls for $44. All One case for $44. One 24, okay, 2 mil, all right, 2.7 mil. It's a 2 mil. $44 for 24 rolls. Amazon has Vertigo Industrial Heavy Tape Clear 2 point for moving, packaging, shipping. I don't think that's 3-inch tape, though. All right, three inch wide. See, I don't think that's three inch wide tape. 24 for $48. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think my price is better, Ron. Forty-four dollars free freight or free shipping. And they're really they're even faster than FedEx or UP. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it, Ron. Sorry, but I think it's a better deal. 24 rolls. Okay there, uh, David. David uh, Grammon. Grammon, is that how you pronounce that? Grammon? Uh, I just placed my tape order, so I don't need to buy tape. All right, so let's see here what people have been buying here. Did anybody buy anything? Okay, we got two more orders. James Curtis just bought my new uh, car, so 
Uh, and then Antonio Barr, he got that. And then Tony by tape. Yeah, thanks a lot, Tony. <laughs> you guys are crazy. All right, James Curtis just bought. Um, he bought a Firebird. He bought a, a yellow, uh, yellow Charger, a Bel Air. I need to order more of those cars. I hate to buy five more cases. Should I buy five more cases? I know they'll sell. It's like an investment. You know what I'm saying? 12 more cases. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's like this, guys. And I really want to be serious right now. Most retailers, and believe me, I've been to more retailers than any other person in the slot car industry. I have physically been into about 2,000 hobby stores. I've actually walked into them, talked to the owners. I've seen the worst hobby store, and I've seen the best hobby store. I've seen the worst toy store, the best toy store. I've seen abs stores that you walk into, you absolutely look at and say, why are they open? And then I've been to another store saying, oh my gosh, I'd like to have one of these type of stores. And it's funny that I've been into stores, you know, I'll go into a store when I was selling SCX saying, hey, you want to buy a couple uh, or four or five, because uh, I had a package I'd sell uh, SCX digital as a kit, you know, like, you get four or five sets. And they would say, oh, no, I just want one. I'm thinking, one? So is that your expectation is just to sell one set? And so whenever I bought, and, and this has been my problem, sometimes I go, I go two by, but, you know, on something like this, so these cars, okay, these are beautiful cars. All of these cars that I have, I know they're going to sell over time. Okay. And I would rather have a little extra inventory a year from now and not have any inventory a year from now. And then everybody is saying, hey, do you have this car? I could say, yeah, I've got them. <laughs> and that's why I'm debating whether just to buy five more cases. The problem with this assortment, and I don't want to say it's a problem with, um, it is a problem is that they have 12 cars. They have two each of all the different cars. And that means that in you, when you buy a case, okay, you're only getting uh, per case, because there are, there are 48 cars to the case. You're only and, uh, Whirlpool called me again. I'm going to have to call him back. Ah, shoot. I'm going to be getting off here. Well, an hour. We got, what time is it? 1130. I'm going to be getting off in a half hour anyway. But um, you're only getting two of each, like the Bel Air, the white Bel Air per case. I'm only getting four per case. Brian Young, Pro Tinker Toys. Hello. Please don't hang up. We've called numerous times to verify your business with Google. Go to 11.55. Our... <laughs> you guys are crazy. Yes, I am going to go to 11.55 because I think I think Rush is back today. He had treatment yesterday and uh, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I think he had treatment. Um, so I don't know if he's coming back or not today. Every day. Go to 11.55 every day. <laughs> All right. So. Um, so, uh, uh, let's get back to a uh, business here. All right. So I've got, uh, Antonio's order going out. I can't do James order James. Cause your cars, I don't have these cars yet. Uh, they were shipped on Monday from Tacoma, Washington. And so I should get them either today or I mean Friday or Monday, just so you know. All right. So all this other stuff, I'm waiting on some of this, but I can ship some of this. Um, um, 
let me go ahead and just pack up the eBay stuff. So I need a Hummer. I need to go find a Hummer. That gun. Uh, that. Those two cars. That and that. All these other cars I've already shipped. So how many cases should I get more? I've got uh, three cases on back order right now. It's a big decision, guys. Brian Young, ProTinkerToys.com. Hello. Hello, this is Dan at Google My Business Optimizer. We need to speak with the owner. Uh, he's not here right now. All right, thank you. Google. Google is constantly contacting us. My son Ryan says that, that our website is just literally exploding. We're, we're, we're doing something that, um, see, I've told, okay, so I've told people about, you know, this is back in 19, 1999. So I went uh, back in, uh, what was it, 1999, 19, 2000, I went to Toy Fair uh, with Irwin Toy. I was with Irwin Toy at the time. And everybody was coming in in 1999 and, oh, the internet's going to destroy all retail. Within 10 years, all retail will all be destroyed. And, uh, well, that never happened. And I've always said from the very beginning that the internet or a website, a website is like a pebble on the beach. If you are a pebble on the beach, you're only going to re reach a very small amount of people. And I told my son, we have to become either a, a large stone or a boulder on the beach. Okay. So that people will see you either walk around you or pick you up all right but if you're a pebble another pebble you're just another piece of sand on the beach okay you're just that sand that little speck and until you become a boulder on the beach and we are becoming a boulder on the beach we're not a boulder yet we are a rock that somebody will go oh look at that rock oh that's kind of neat looking that's what we are right now you don't like featuring the new product from the front page. It is Tinker Toys. Put I put new, new uh, featured item. Do you guys like featured new item products? That's a good idea, Ryan. All right, first class. Let me do this here. So anyway, that's why we are um, we are beginning to explode in the sense of. Uh, more and more people are finding out about us and they like what they see. And wait until I get all this other stuff on this knickknack stuff. Okay. Um, the, the, the girls and the late, uh, we're going to be start grabbing that group. Okay. Even now I get a lot of ladies, a lot of women. Okay. They're buying my toy guns like crazy. You know why? Damn it. Okay, partner. You know why? Because guns are fun for boys. Now, girls like them too, but I'm telling you, boys love toy guns. I used to go out in the backyard with my kids, friends, and everything. Yeehaw, cowboys. Get him, girl. Get him, get him, get him. I mean, come on. This is a toy gun. They're a toy gun. That's the problem. We're not teaching kids between a toy and a real gun. Uh, you keep ma uh, mix. Okay, you keep maxing the. Oh, I keep maxing the microphone. Yeah, that's right. I get. It. I noticed that yesterday that I was doing that. I think I can turn the volume down. Can I turn the volume down? Yeah, the microphone here kind of uh, maxes out. Sorry about that. I can't go too excited. All right, I'll I'll bring it down a little bit. Okay. Shh. All right. All right, so let me get these labels printed up here. Um, all right, so we're going to print these labels here. So this is the uh, duck gun. This is a beautiful rifle. This is a duck rifle, okay? It has a 
Now, this is the 12 shot. I won't have these caps until uh, Mar uh, November 10th. See how that clacks? This is all solid steel. Check this out. Watch this. Look at that. Okay, I could do that all your I could do that all day long. Look at that. That's so sweet. This is the duck rifle. Okay. Okay. This is ducks. This is you a single duck. <laughs> Shoot a duck. You want to make sure you hit it the head. That's the duck rifle. Then then the other one we have, which is the same series of this gun. Now these are both duck. I don't have the uh um, well, this one here, this one's real popular too. Now this doesn't have caps. This is just a fun little, the stagecoach. Okay, move out, partner. Yeehaw. This is a really nice one too, just to have fun with. Run around the house, get in your fort and everything. I'm telling you, I'm wondering, what do you, how, how, how about more like, how about more likes from this video, guys? How about, <laughs> dead. how about more likes from this video, guys? Uh, well, we got nine, ten, we got ten video likes. You know, I mean, that's good, that's good. I mean, you know, it's going to take time to grow, you know, um, Yes, I would love to have a thousand people watching. That would just be that would make my day, honestly. I don't. Th I think that would just be the. That would be so sweet. I don't want to get there ahead of myself, but. Um, all I mean, I will never sell out to Amazon. Never. Never. Jeff Bezos, you know, he's got a model, but you know what? You know what the problem is? See, he's getting all these people to join his website to, to sell online kind of. But what he's doing is he's 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 basically taking finding out what's hot. And then once it's hot, he steals it all. I tried Amazon, but I'm not going to give them all. No, no. No. Now, eBay is different. eBay is different. They're not necessarily buying it. They're just, they're just like a platform. Like a, they're just like a, a, sweep, a, a swap meet. That's what they are. That's all they are. And they're trying to become more than that. And that's what they've gotten diverted from, is that they should continue to be just a, a swap meet. I uh, tried to sell on Amazon many times years ago. and they, No, they're terrible. I tried selling Amazon when I had some Godzilla dolls and then at Christmas time, they wouldn't let me sell because their preferred vendors wanted to sell, you know, it's like, like okay, great. Yeah. Go pack sand. All right. Will you please? I got some sand you can pack too. All righty. Uh, the 20 B rifle. All right. Now this one here is a pack of guide blades, eight, seven, six, 30. We got the two cars, Ninko. We got 17 views, uh, 12 likes, or 16 now. Robo Gear, Robo Gear. And John Kern with the 88028. That should be the last item. And that is John Kern. Okay, got that right, got that right. Okay, so all of these are correct. Got 16, uh, 13 likes. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button. So if you want to constantly get notifications when we go live, uh, we'll be going live more and more. Um, when I have the, uh, when we get down to the store, I think what I'm going to do is this. I have two cameras and I think I'm going to mount one camera because the way it's set up, my shipping area is going to be in this corner. I'm going to put one camera in that area. And just have it on all day long. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you imagine a 12 hour? No, I can't do that. That's crazy.
you you wouldn't sit for 12 hours that you you don't have a life if you did that all day long oh my god i couldn't do that do it <laughs> okay now why aren't these labels printing up Why didn't that why didn't that Hummer print up? Five ounces. Three dollars print. But You know what the hardest part is going to be about this whole thing is, I mean, and that's why I still want to do videos down here at the workshop, uh, especially because I'll have more room. I mean, just so you guys know, um, that area right there, that's all going to be gone. That's going to be a big racetrack right there. All right. Uh, Tony, I think, let's see, I think you should, tr I, I think you should try it. And see what happens. 12 hours of Brian. Democrats sit for longer than that. Wait a minute. Sit longer than that. Ah, uh, set it up so PPL watching can turn spot car lights on, trains on, and turn them off. Also, do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Yes, that's exactly right about Amazon. That is exactly right about Amazon. But I don't want to knock them because they have a model, okay? Let me explain something to you, too. I want to explain everything. Uh, I, I want to explain to you the evolution of retail. Let's put it, I'm going to put this just flat. There is nothing new under re, in, in retail. Bezos, Bezos hasn't done anything that that Sears didn't do a hundred years ago. Okay. All right. Sears was doing that a hundred years ago. And in all the small towns, Sears would open up just a catalog store. Well, a lot of the merchants in time were, were, uh, were upset with a lot of these, a lot of these small towns were upset. And so they banned Sears from coming in their town with just catalog stores. Which, and so the Sears had to physically have a store in their town or else they couldn't set up. And that's like in Bowling Green, they had a, a Montgomery Wards. That's where my uh, uh, Young's newsstand was. They had Montgomery Wards there, but it was also a showroom. So that's how they got around that law. Well, they, they had product in there, but then they also had the catalog house. Okay. Got for it. Go for it. So what I'm saying is that Bezos with Amazon is nothing new. And, uh, the internet is not new. It's this new technology to us. But, you know, 100 years ago, people had catalogs that were this thick, okay? And, and that's where everybody bought everything, okay, was in a catalog. You could buy literally anything in a catalog, all right? And they were everywhere. Matter of fact, they were toilet paper for a lot of people, okay? So let me just tell you that right now, all right? It's how you are creative in your retail. Now, I'm going to be reinventing retail, okay? When you come into ProTinkerToys.com, it's not going to look like any retail store you've ever been to. It's a warehouse. Items will be in bins like this, okay? Everything will be lined up, Okay. You know why? Because I want your experience of shopping to be like this. Oh, what? What's this? Oh, that's guide blades. What's over here? What's in here? I want you to be. I want you to be like it is a an experience. It's it's like you've gone into this old house that's a thousand years old and it's never been opened. And you you open the door and dust away the cobwebs and you walk in and you go oh, look at all that neat stuff it reminds me of when i was 15 years old downtown bowling green there was a place called kiger's drugstore 
And I went into Kiger's drugstore and now, this was not necessarily knocking him, but he just didn't want to change. I walked into, this is 1970. It's like walking, when I walked into it, it's like walking into the 1930s. Because he had merchandise that was still in his store from the 1930s. He had pens, the old ink pens. I was buying all of his stationary stuff. He had these cool little notebooks. Oh, my goodness. That's the experience that you're going to get at ProTinkerToys.com. ProTinkerToys.com. It's not going to be like anything you've ever been to, okay? It's not going to be the typical retail store where you go in there and you got all these shelving units. Are you still going to have a regular hours? Yes, 9 to 5. 9 to 5. 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, and on Saturday, I haven't decided what we're going to do on Saturday yet. Okay, so here are the Hummers. These are really nice cars by Tyco this Hummer. Isn't that cool? Now, you can modify that to probably work on a uh, um, a um, uh, an ultra uh, extraction. Okay, here, here's Ron Gardner writing a sentence. Why does Ron Gardner like to write sentences? Let's see. Even if he's closed, it's closed enough so his house can live the ring door bell on the store, tell people he's on his way to unlock. Yeah, I mean, think about it, guys. I'm less than, what is it, about an eighth of a mile to my store. I'm an eighth of a mile to my store. And then when we uh, do the expansion, uh, we're going to be expanding. We'll have a bigger locate, a bigger building. That's not going to come for a while. I just want to, I just want to get opened and uh, have fun. See how everybody likes it. Let's see. Uh, here's who, who is it? Who's Pro Tinker Toys? Are you going to be living there? Who who's Pro Tinker Toys? No, I'm not going to be living there. You. Who who is this guy? Keep sending these. Let's see. Build a new house. Howard's Econ. Lots next to the LOL. This is Ron Gardner. Let's see. What's uh, wait? Willing to wait when? It's all in. What corner will Tim be caged in? Okay, is that Christopher? Did Christopher Pro Tinker is your account? You goof. Oh, is that Ryan? So Ryan's not working, huh? Hmm. That's interesting. That's typical. That's typical. Okay, so I'm going to get political real quick, all right? And I don't want to do this. Okay, Ryan, get me a sticker so I can put on my truck back window of my camper. That's a good idea. Hey, Ryan, order some stickers. Okay, so here's what I don't understand. I, I hate to be political, but this has gotten me really kind of just, it's, it's crazy. Okay, so, ah, forget it. Never mind. I don't want to lose any customers. I'll be neutral. I can be neutral. Now, when I had Young's newsstand, I had my beliefs. I was a conservative and if I had, I mean, and I had liberals come in my store. I had uh, 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 professors come in my store. Matter of fact, I debated one of my professors, the professor that came in my store. He came to, 
I went to the university and I debated with him in his class about basically <laughs> communism and all that. You know, I, you know, I had debate. I could debate with anybody. Okay, that's the thing is the debate. Can you accept somebody else's opinion? Or uh, no, I not not communism. If you're a communist, I don't agree with you at one one hundred percent. Nope, not at all. Nope. Now, if you want to be a uh, you know, fiscal or liberally, uh, um, socially, uh, monetarily, uh, I need some uh, envelopes, but I'm going to drop them if I pick them all. I knew this. Oh, gosh. They're, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Come on now. See, that's the problem is now I got to pick up all these envelopes. They're everywhere. Just because I wanted one envelope. See, this is what I have to deal with all day long. I literally have to deal with this all day long. Yesterday was an exhausting day yesterday. Then I had a nice cigar last night. That's That was my, my fun time. Oh, I had a nightmare last night. Whew, boy. Mm. woo Okay, Ninko. All right, so I'm going to wrap these. So should I buy five more cases of uh, Auto World cars? Do you uh, do you dream Biden was sniffing you? <laughs> I'm sorry, that guy's a nut. I just can't. I'm sorry. I don't want to. I say he's just crazy. All right. Let's get some more paper in here. Now, James Curtis, I can't ship your cars out today because I don't have them yet. But I'll do a video when I get them. When I get them in, that day, I'm getting them in. When I get them in, well, Friday maybe, or if they're, see, if they come Friday, Ron, Tim can help me if he comes this weekend. Um, I should give you Tim's phone number so everybody can start bothering Tim. Say, hey, Tim, are you, when are you going to be on the show? When are you going to be on the show? I'm sure you'll like that. Uh. <laughs> but I'm going to do a video, Jim, when I get those, James, when I get the cars. Because I'm going to show everybody taking them out of the cases and everything. And uh, uh. All right, let me double check. Okay, so that's correct. That's correct. Robo gear, that's correct. A Hummer, that's correct. I need to get a box that is 12 by 12. I have a box for that, but that's po well, U.S. Postal. You know what? I could probably send that in this. Yeah, I think I will. Texas Ranger and the Outlaw. And 10 caps. That is probably 30 pounds. four pounds. What time is it? Oh, I'm almost time to go. I don't like that. I'm going to redo it. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to sign off right now. Um, I know everybody just, they don't want me to sign off. I get it. I can, I can understand. But I, number one, at noon, I have to feed the kids. I have to get my kids fed. And then I've got to go down to the building if I go down to the building, um, I might go live when I go down the building and just have the camera on showing you what we're doing and all that. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So we're going to come back. Uh, let's see. Uh, Damien's going down there at noon. Um, he'll probably be calling me here soon. Um, and uh, I'm going to be going down. I'm trying to go down every day at about 3. Okay. 
your time you meet with the locals. What time do you meet? I did that yesterday. You're way behind. I told you yesterday at seven o'clock. Okay. But you didn't show up because you're, you're lazy. So there's to it. How did it go? Fine. They just wanted to know. I went and I met the city council yesterday, kind of showed them what my vision was. Uh, no, well, that's because you're not listening. You don't listen. My son doesn't listen. He doesn't. He's a millennial. See, these millennials, I don't know how many, how many millennials are out there watching me. How many, how many of you are between 24 and 35? How many of you? How did the meeting go? It went fine. It went great. You know, they were excited that a store is going in there. This store is going to be so awesome. A boomer here. All right, boomer. 38 here. Okay, he's 38. That's fine. You're, you're a little over the... You're a Gen Xer. Gen Xers are okay because Gen Xers kind of grew through the, they were just coming out of the Reagan. Uh, they were kind of youth as the Reagans and uh, um, um, they were in between and then the Clintons. Uh, Gen X is prototype inferior millennial LOLs. <laughs> Ron, I don't want to hear from you, Ron. Where is Christopher? Where is Christopher? We need to get Chris. We need to find out if he's upset still uh, or he's not watching because he got upset. Okay, we got to find out Christopher. Where is Christopher? Um, let's see. Oh, he's a uh, good job, Johnny. You came the 15th uh, to get a ribbon. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching today. We've got 15 likes, 16 of uh, uh, viewers. Um, I wish I could do it nonstop, but I just can't right now. I mean, this is what's so amazing about this whole thing is. Uh, um, uh, thank you for acquiring Legos. We are currently not taking on new business. Okay, so go figure this. All right, so Lego I sent because I want to be a dealer. So thank you for acquiring about Lego products. We are currently not taking on new business in 2020. But a review and request to start in 2021. I can you believe it? Okay, so I, I, I boy, you, you, so you're a company like Lego. How huge they are, and they're not taking more business. You've got a business problem now. You seriously have an issue if you're saying. That we are not taking any more business? I would say, well, I would fire everybody in management, number one. I'd fire the president, number two. And I'd say, okay, wh wh why can't you be servicing new customers? Hire more salesmen. We don't have buy, Build more product. Unbelievable. Um, five eleven fifty seven. I can't believe how fast time flies. They probably have done more dam uh, damage. They probably have more demand than they are able to supply. You're probably right, Steve. But I just don't, uh, Lego is waiting until 2021 to see who's in charge of the country. <laughs> and I'm not saying I want to buy a lot of Lego. I don't, I, honestly. I mean, I have a ton right now that I can sell. Um, it's just I like to have an account in case, you know, there's um, certain items I'd like to buy. Because they always have a closeout once in a while. I don't mind buying closeouts. I love closeouts, actually. Close out, Sarah. A good deal. All right, guys. Now we have 16 viewers and 16 likes. I can't have that. I can't keep going on. Um, uh, 
um, well, now it's 11.59. I have to get off, guys. And I don't want to get off because I got 16 people viewing. But you know what? You just can't talk and just talk, okay? Of course, now I'll have someone say, yeah, 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 you can. You can just talk and just keep talking. I can't. I got to feed the kids lunch. And then I've got to get Damien. We've got to get down to the workshop. I'll. Uh, Biden calls kids muffins because muffins back wars is snow. <laughs> All right, I will get back. I will do a live feed when I go down to the workshop for about an hour. I'll just turn the camera on, put it in the corner, and you guys can see what's going on, what we're doing. Okay, go, go, go.